Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Shen Salvador, where we are going to declare war on Yao and pretty much all of West Africa with the plan of taking some lands from Mali. Should I get some more claims on Mali? I should probably claim Lobi, which is the gold province, and Kong, which is ivory. But I guess you can't have everything, can you? Let's just go to war. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. All right, Yao, you've had it too good for too long, my friend. It's time for you to die, and we're not going to co belligerent any of his dudes. And I guess I'll declare for this one, Munio. And hopefully there's no fort in there for us to deal with. If there's a fort, this could get messy. At the very least, let's take out Nupe's troops. And uh, let's go ahead and move in. And once we're done with Nupe, we're going to turn on Songhai. I'm just going to steadily get rid of Yao. How many troops does Yao have? Yao's only got 9,000 troops. And his tech is... Oh, his tech's not bad. Songhai's tech is a little bit bad. Nupe's tech is not bad. What are we, tech 11? Oh, we're tech 12. We're doing all right. Do I want to put, an ar Do I want to put a general in this army? Uh, who's available? This guy. Yeah. Go for it. Exploration finished. Okay, I don't even know what he was exploring, but whatever. Just keep exploring, dude. Waters of the Arabian Sea. Sounds good. Was I born with a beard? <laughs> no. That would be hilarious. A bearded baby. That'd be kind of creepy, actually. All right, do you have a siege pip? You do not. All right, here comes, there's Yao. I was hoping to take out Nupe's army there, but he actually survived somehow. Let's go explore the, the um, fog of war. Nupe should be pretty quick to push out of the war. Set the siege's capital down and we're done. Let's start pushing into Songhai. Before he gets like super reinforcement troops. Yeah, he's just spamming mercs. That's the problem with, with a lot of nations that have gold is they can just spam mercs all day. It's a serious issue. Where's our South American Exploration Army? Oh, he's, he's chilling. He's exploring like crazy. All right, I'll, I'll let him just keep doing his thing. He's still black flagged, the poor guy. Hey, Dog is done. Dog. To Poetin, please. Core Dog. All right, so the plan is we're going to go to war here, and we're going to declare a second war on Mali once we're done with Nupe, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, unsiege that. Actually, why don't you kill that army? You can unsiege that. That sounds good. Ah, wow. Nupe's done already. That was quick. Okay, you're going to go fight this army. And you... Let's go siege him up a bit. We're going to declare a second war on Mali while this war is going on. Because we want to get into war with Jolof. Co-belligerent Jolof. Vassalize Jolof. And then take some lands from Mali. I can even feed Jolof some lands in the peace deal. Oh, that's going to be brilliant. All right, so Nupe's army is dead. Perfect. South Georgia's done. Very nice. That give us a colonist? I don't think so. No, it doesn't. Okay, so we should steal someone and go make another colony. Um, well, let's just see how, how profitable we are. We're only making 20 ducats right now, which is not a lot considering we're over our colonial limit. All right, beating up Songhai, very nice. Where is he retreating to? I don't know. 
Where is he retreating to? Oh, he's going into Yao's territory. Interesting. Okay. I'll follow him as far as I can. But yeah, he's going into the Fog of War, which means I can't really follow him properly. That sucks. Alright, we'll turn around. Take that little guy out. Unsiege all this shit. Oh, there's Yao's army. I think he's going to retreat, though. No, he crushed. Perfect. Yeah, this is pretty good progress we're making here. Um, I don't want to declare the second war until we've destroyed the armies in this war, though. Like, there's no reason to peace out too early. Start the siege of the fort. We've lost colonialism against Portugal. Ah, because he finished his colony, of course. Of course. But yeah, he is really beefing up Brazil. He is going ham on Brazil. Look at this. It's like five provinces up there, like 10, 15 down here. He's just giving Brazil so much land. Which is good for me, because it means it's going to be pretty easy to get Brazil independent. Where are you going? He's trying to sneak past me here, but... Ah, if I can catch that army, I'll be happy. Squish his face. Yeah. Yeah, face squishing time. Oh, Evangelical Union. 1556, is this the birth of the Protestant League War? It is. Oh, we can join the Protestant League. I'm probably going to join one of the sides, just for funsies. But we'll see who joins which side first. Oh, it's not going to die, is he? Damn. I was really hoping to squish him. Didn't happen. How do I rebels, by the way? Katsinian. Still waiting on the Katsian rebels. No dice, though. We're almost done with this fort here. And then his capital fort is a little bit, a little bit in the rear. It's protected by this fort here. Okay, there goes that fort. Fantastic. Ooh. Alright, so Sweden and the Commonwealth worked together to decimate the Baltic and Muscovy. Yeah, look at that. Sweden has land right down here. Sweden took Twer. Unless that's Twer, that might be Twer. Alright, anyway, they worked together to do havoc up here. But now, that alliance has fallen apart. I wonder if they're going to rival each other. Not yet, but they probably will. They kind of reached critical mass, where neither of them can tolerate the other. They're just too big. Understandably so. Also, I'm not using my diplomat. I should be fabricating over here on Kong. Kong? Oh, finished exploring the waters of the Arabian Sea. What's next? Uh, waters of Eastern Indian Ocean. Sounds good to me. Aw, oh, stop dropping troops off, you little bastard. There must be a fort right here. See that path? That path tells me there's a fort right here. Alright, that should be that should be Songhai's last province. Yeah, there's a fort there. Alright. So eating up Yao is gonna be kind of a pain in the dick. Oh, we got discovered in Mali already. We just started fabricating, we got discovered right away. Oh uh, well. Turks are done, let's steal the colonist. Oh, it doesn't matter, it's the end of the month anyway. There we go. And that was our mission as well. New mission? Conquer Sierra Leone. Rival of rival Aragon. Alright, I'll go for that. 
Steel's colony is going to take forever here. So let's just keep working on the coastline. Got to lock off this juicy, juicy clay. How many colonies do we have? We have six and a seventh one arriving. All right, let's go for, let's go for eight colon. Well, yeah, let's go for eight colonies. Just spam colonies. I want to get that coastline locked up. We already repaid our loan, so I'm not worried about that. Oh, brave soul. He wants another piece of me. You want a piece of me? And of course he survived. Gosh darn it. Do me a favor and stop surviving. Oh, he died. Good. Good, good, good. Good, good. All right, that's it for Songhai's army. He can't make any more troops. So it's just Yao, which is probably pretty tolerable. Oh shit, someone died. Eh, it's fine. Converted Oyo, very nice. We're slowly getting all this shit converted to Norse. Yeah, look how much is Norse already. The hard part's going to be all this Sunni territory, because Sunni has a negative two to any chance to convert it. So it's really tough to convert Sunni. Oh man, we're out of manpower. Ooh, I didn't even notice that. That's bad. We need to take some manpower here. Raise levies. We only get 4,000. Oh. oh. I I can't do that. I can't I can't do that. I can't give the nobles too much power. All right, let's get to the coast. See if we can't uh, scratch some manpower up. Scrounge some manpower up. Mmm, that really sucks. Like, I want to go into a second war right now, and I don't have any manpower. Sounds like a terrible idea. And we're not really in a position to use mercs right now either. Hey, free stability? Thank you so much. I like that. Oh, Great Britain has formed. Hi, Great Britain. Took him a while to get to Tech 10, didn't it? We've had Tech 10 for a while. All right, let's get out of here. Get to the coast. This manpower. We're at negative 8,400. Oof. That's pretty rough. Oh, what the fuck? Are you shitting me? Oh my god, the Protestant League War just kicked off right away. Wow, I, I didn't even have a chance to join it. It's already, it's already going. Holy crap. And the Ottomans are in. Sweden, the Ottomans, and Britain versus Austria and the Commonwealth. Holy shit, that's a big war. It doesn't even have France or Muscovy or anything. Yeah, Sweden, Austria, and Britain. No, Sweden, the Ottomans, and Britain. Let's check out that war. That's a big war. That's a big war.
Can I fight a second war right now? I think I can. Let's check out Molly and Jolof. Molly, 20,000. Not much manpower, though. What about Jolof? Come on, where's the fucking tree? There's the tree. Jolof only has five guys. That's his whole army. All right, I think we can handle it. It's going to be a pain in the dick. And we are going to co-belligerent Jolof because we want to uh, make him a vassal. So I'll declare for this province Kong because there's no fort blocking it right now, is there? No. So declare for Kong. Oh, I don't have my CB yet. Oh, shit. Uh, Wagadugu, are you protected by a fort? You are not. I'll declare for Wagadugu. Wagadugu. Colonial War. Call your protectorates, but not your allies. I don't have protectorates. Thanks, though. All right. Lay it on me, bro. Might as well see this stuff up while we're here. All right, I should peace out Nupe and start coring this shit. Ooh, tech 13. Don't mind if I do. New cannons. Now, at this point, he's just going to spam mercs, I think. Which is fine. We declared for Wagadugu, but I'm hesitant to go over there. He's not unseaging this fort, which is kind of amusing. Oh, now he's unseaging it. Is that his whole army? That's pretty much his whole army. Okay, so if he's going to be busy there, I'll go to Wagadugu, get the ticking war score going. And we need to go peace out Jolof first. So to get to Jolof, we need to siege down the fort of Jene. Let's go to Jene. Yeah, he's still sieging. That's his whole army down there. Gives us time to get some stuff done. And we're going to take some loans. Uh, oh well, so be it. Even war taxes are not going to save us from loans right now. Not that we can afford war taxes. Lazy diplomats? Yeah, it happens. Let's see. Who am I going to diplomatize? Who did I rival? I rivaled France and Portugal. Mm. Mm, I guess I'm going to work on the Ottomans. I don't think we can make them like us, but it's worth a shot. It's better than nothing. And my other diplomat should be working on Chickasaw, so we can annex him. Soon. Ish. Soonish. Yeah, negative 7,000 manpower is not the end of the world. It's not great, but it's not the end of the world. We're about to get rebels in Katsina. I've already increased the autonomy there, so we're just going to have to rebels. We're just going to have to deal with the rebels, I guess. Alright, now, is there anything I can convert quickly? Not really. I'm not sure I want to deal with you know, 45 months of revolt risk. But I might as well get started. We're going to have to convert these places. Election time. 441 or 246? 441. I wish I could go with the 246, but I need the 441. All right. Um, give me the core creation cost guy, because he's just so good. And... 
tempted to do war taxes here. But I'm not going to do it. Let's go get some of his gold siege down. He has not breached the walls yet, so... I guess I should get an army over there to keep an eye on him. Also, we, we need to peace out Jolof first. We need to vassalize Jolof first. So let's get him sieged up. Jolof has no forts. Just his capital. That's good. Ooh. Molly's capital has fallen. I love it. Here comes Jolof's army. Good times. Families left behind. National taxes go down. Manpower goes down. Unrest goes up. I'll take the tax hit. Not the end of the world. All right. What was the peace deal? Hesse. Okay. So Austria is forcing some of the little nations out of the war. It's fine. Let's go take out this army. Jenny's almost fallen. Good, good. Although he is at 42% on Bago, I gotta be careful there. In fact, I'm gonna run away. Oh shit, Songhai has rebels. I guess I should peace out Songhai. I don't want to, but I guess I should. Okay, Diplomat. Now with Songhai, all I was gonna do is make him release... Really? It's a one pro- I thought he was going to release more than one province. Uh, give up your claims in Timbuktu. Now you can keep your claims in Timbuktu. Alright, just get out of the damn war, you little bastard. It's too bad. When, when I saw that he could release Hausa, I thought it'd be like, you know, four or five provinces. It wasn't. It's just one fucking province. Okay. Okay, the army just finished in Bago, so he's going to be coming up to deal with us. Okay, he changed his direction. Let's go get Bago before it gets a garrison. It's a garrison, well, it's at a small garrison. Let's get it before it has a big garrison. He is... Yeah, he's unseizing his... So he's following the rebel army around. That's good for us. Oh, he got a garrison tick. Shit. Still, we might be able to get it quickly. We'll see. Alright, let's get Nupe out of the war. Since we're going to take all this land. Well, what, what claims do we have? I'll just take it all. There goes the first fort of Gen A. Where's the next fort? Bombuk? Okay. Oh shit. Um, can I get out of there? I cannot escape. Okay, well... I really don't want to kill his rebels, but it looks like I have to. Okay. That sucks. I wish he would have gone back to fight Molly's army, but instead he's fighting me. So say goodbye to even more manpower. Hooray! Let's get the Siege of Jolof started. Nupe, get out of my war. And can we core all of that? Probably. It's relatively cheap to core. Yeah. And then Yao... We'll piece him out in just a minute. How much OE do we have? 31? Yeah, we can take a lot of land from Yao.
Okay, we explored the waters of the East Indian Ocean. What's next? Waters of South China Sea. Sounds good. Have fun. Just got to keep an eye on this fort. It's at negative seven right now. It'd be cool if it would show a percentage next to it, because you can click on the province and see the percentage. Why don't you just show it like it shows our percentages? I don't know. That would be too convenient. <laughs> we don't want the user to have that. Oh, he got the wall breach. We don't want the user to have that much information. We're at negative 20,000 manpower. Gross. That's just gross. Oh, fuck. Portugal came to Paramaribo, whatever. So we need Demerara. Do I have a colonist? I do not. Can I steal a colonist from a low pop place? Gwali looks good. Steal from Gwali. Wherever the fuck that is. There it is. Really? That's low pop? 804 settlers is low pop. Roanoke is low pop. Steal from Roanoke. There we go. He's at 28% with the walls busted. I'm a little scared of that finishing soon. We'll see how it goes. There's the revolt you knew was going to happen. It's at 24,000 troops. Ouch. Oh, man, we have so low manpower. This second war looks like it was a bad idea, but it's still such an opportunity. I can't pass this up. We need to finish the Siege of Jolof so we can piece him out. We're out of time, though. So why don't we call this an episode here? Come back next time. Well, why don't we go ahead and peace out Yao first? Come back next time where we will... Let's get rid of his forts. Come back next time where we will be... Oh, can I just pull an XM? Nope. Okay, I can take all that, though. Come back next time where we will be... Uh, piecing out with Molly and Jolof. We're going to make Jolof a vassal, and we're going to feed him some of Molly, and then we'll take some more of Molly for ourselves. But yeah, this lack of manpower is really disturbing. Like, super disturbing. And uh, it's going to be tough to deal with not having manpower. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Get rid of stupid forts. Get out of here. No one's allowed to have forts. Come on now.